I wanted to talk to you today about keeping your eyes open for opportunities that may present themselves. And I hope, I hope this story illustrates that. So I had an appointment at the bank earlier this week to talk about my line of credit. So I actually had to make an appointment and go in and talk to like a physical human being. So I did that. And the appointment took about two seconds because there wasn't anything she could do. She couldn't help me out with my issue. And honestly, I didn't, it was mostly like an informational appointment because I, I thought I knew the, my next steps, but I just wanted to make sure that's what they were. And it was, so she was, there was nothing she could do. So since the appointment was so quick, she, she saw that I had a business account. And so she was asking me how my business was going. And I said, oh, it's going, it's going, it's going pretty well. I said, I do it part-time and I, you know, I go to school part-time too. Or I take cor I take a course part-time as well. And she's like, oh, what course are you taking? I said, oh, um, financial planning as it were. And she was a, fi she is a financial advisor. That's who I had to see. And she's like, oh, she's like, um, how far along, like, what course are you on right now? Or like, what, yeah, what course are you taking? I said, oh, I'm just on the insurance portion. I think there's like five or six courses in this program. And I said, oh, I'm on the insurance part of it right now. She's like, oh, okay. She's like, well, what do you plan on doing when you're done? Like, do you plan on working? Like, where do you plan on working? Or do you plan on working at a bank? I think is what she said. Or along those lines, just wondering what I'm going to do with my, after I graduate or after I pass. I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna work because in order to get certified, I need a year's experience in a financial institution, a bank or what have you. She's like, oh, well, have you started applying anywhere yet? I said, oh, no. She's like, she's like, my advice, this is what she said, my advice is for you to apply at a, like an entry level job in a bank, like a teller position, because you'll have a foot in the door for when you know, you're ready to work as a financial planner, you'll already be kind of known and you'll, you know, have a better chance of success that way. And I was like, oh, yeah, I said, I didn't think I was qualified for that. And she's like, well, yeah, like, just, just, um, apply as a, for a teller, she said. And she said, um, she, like, she's a financial advisor, works in the offices of the bank, not, not the teller position. And she said, um, she said, you know, I started as a teller, uh, like 20 years ago and through my, uh, and she said, when you're a teller, you get to improve your customer service skills. And that's number one in like banking is your customer service skills. I said, yeah, that, that makes sense. She's like, she, and she said, so through my customer service skills, my excellent customer service skills and my, and taking courses, I've worked my way up to like, she was a financial advisor. She's the lady that I uh, go see about my line of credit. So I'm like, oh, she said, yeah, she's like, and you don't have to just work at a bank either. She said, go to one of those, you could apply to those, like a wealth management group um, and, you know, be a receptionist. Just get an entry level position, be around like the jargon and, you know, the environment that you want to work in. And when it's time to, you know, to apply for a higher job, like when I graduate, when I have the credentials to do so, you'll already have an in. And I was like, that is great advice. <laughs> I see why you were able to work your way up. Like she gave me advice that I, I never, I, like, I didn't even think of asking her. I went in there, had, had my line of credit on my mind, dealing with that, and that is it. It did not once cross my mind when I made that appointment, knowing it was with the financial advisor, to like bring questions to ask career-wise, since that's what I'm working towards right now. Didn't even cross my mind. And I was so grateful uh, for her because that I got an appointment with her specifically because um, if I had anybody else, it might have just been a, oh, I can't help you with any credit, you know, have a good day and off I go. But I was, I was lucky enough to get her as my financial advisor and she definitely has great customer service skills. She took an interest in what I was doing and really helped me out and got me thinking and got the wheels turning. I, I'm like, yes, <laughs> this, that is amazing advice and something that I'm going to put into motion. I'm going to get my resume up to snuff and start applying for jobs well before I'm qualified for a financial planner because that's going to be months and months down the road, but I can work, start working in a financial institution sooner, just at an entry level position, which I'm fine with because I've never been in around that environment anyways. So it would be great to just work my way up and see what it's all about. And yeah, without that appointment, I, I never would have 
I, I never would have had that information. That wouldn't even have been on my mind at all that I could be working in that environment like right now, sooner than, rather than later. And it got me thinking when I was reflecting after about that conversation, because like you, as soon as I got out of the office, I was got my notes, <laughs> my notes app open on my phone and started like writing down, typing out whatever, everything that she told me to do and you know, all the advice she gave me so I wouldn't forget. And I was just thinking, like reflecting back, I'm like, man, if I had been even remotely in that frame of mind, when I booked that appointment, like I could have had questions for her career wise. Like I could have had, I could have asked her questions, like had, had them already prepared and asked them and, and she was more than willing to answer. So <laughs> talk to like, keep moving. So just, I guess the, what, the, what I got out of this experience was number one, grateful for, for having her as my financial advisor for this line of credit issue that was, I almost forgot that was the reason why I went into the bank when I left because I had so many, so much, so many great ideas from her to think about. And um, number two, to just be on the lookout for opportunities like that, to ask somebody who has been there before you to ask them for advice, like ask someone higher up. Like if you're going to school or thinking about a career change, make an appointment with somebody that's that's doing it right now and that or that has done it and get their advice because it could prove to be invaluable like i know how valuable mentors are i don't have one but i hope to have one in real life sometime kind of i kind of um, use the my personal development gurus that i listen to like brian tracy as a mentors but how great would it be to have someone in the field that you're actually going into um give you advice on how to how to do it successfully and how to go about getting into the field and getting started and and being successful at it so that was my story of the bank trip today so just be and that so now i hope that i will be more aware of what i'm doing and when opportunities like that present themselves i won't be caught off guard because i was with her like it was just so lucky that she took an interest in what i was doing and without that without her asking me what i was going to school for we never would have got on that topic and I never would have gleaned the advice that I that I that I got from her and I'm yeah very thankful that she was my financial advisor and gave me great advice and hopefully now in the future when I when I am um, making appointments and doing things I'll be thinking like oh is this someone that can help me and or what can I ask this person um, that can help me on my way because like I said I had line of credit on my mind and that was it not career and advice not anything but it turned out to be a great experience at the bank and i um, very grateful for my financial advisor for for really um, steering me in the right direction and you know making me think a little bit differently about what I'm doing and how to go about like getting a job in the field when the time comes which could be sooner than later which I'm really excited about and looking forward to so I hope you're having an awesome day. If you got anything from this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you tomorrow.